Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. Today we're doing Wrong World Part 3. I don't know why the computer is so loud, it sounds like a jet engine, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully you can hear this game alright. When we left off last time, uh, we survived a little longer. We have a different strategy this time, which is to get food and try and keep food up instead of just doing all that, you know, yeah, I forgot, it's dark out, so right now we have our little guy waiting. I'm going to check the inventory here. I don't yet have enough, we need more wood, and then we're going to build at the crafting table, which is pretty essential for most things I'll need. Um, thanks to the good construction in this game and the way building works, I can bring this wall back down and make this open and this open during the day and not have to worry. But I do know that we get a little hint as to when the sun comes out. And I also know that as long as you're enclosed, the weird slug creatures at night do not get you. Um, you don't need to sleep in this game yet anyway. And there's his little combat staff. And there's daytime. So we didn't have to wait that long, at least. I should have probably just... Should have probably just waited until daytime and then showed you guys this instead of wasting your time with that. So, sorry about that. I am keeping the roof on both of these. And we're going to go ahead here and do the move edit thing on this. And, uh, probably just put, like, a single wall up for this one and leave it there, like that, for now. I think I'm, I'm kind of done with trying to, to do all that. So first things first, we need more wood. So he will headbutt like crazy. Oh, that's it. Should hit C so I get him out of construction mode. Our plan is to at least have enough food and resources going. And if you watched my other videos, you know I tried to do a 6x6 six six house for him. Even though he constantly gets his ass kicked, we're trying to try and make that better. We found this weird satellite that had exposed wiring after we had butted it and kicked it enough. But I don't have the right stuff to fix it yet. Uh, you need the crafting table. From there, you need an advanced table. So one thing I might do here, actually, is set this up with one more building space. Um, so we can do that. Since we have had our last video, we have a, another member of our YouTube team. Uh, my daughter, who I talked about in other videos very fondly, uh, is now here, so she will more than likely make an appearance somewhere. Um, she also does amazing artwork, so when she is ready and gets a page set up for that, we'll link you to that so you guys can check that stuff out, because it's pretty, pretty damn good. You guys make sure you check that out. And for now, I am collecting wood. That was a good tree right there. I need to really focus on the big trees. Because I think all I need for that... Let me double check. But I think it's just 20 wood. So what wood do we have? We have 10. So we're already halfway there. Um, now why did I waste time doing the other thing? You're asking yourself. I will tell you. It's because... Um, oh yeah, by the way, I should note. I don't mean to be kind of ADD here, but to get off the subject for a minute, the lands, you'll notice the different grasses there are different zones. This game works by zones, so different enemies appear in different zones. Shit, that got dark very quickly. Oh well. One reason that you wall your house up at night is so that the creatures can't go off and drag your stuff out and uh, steal it. Which I've had happen. They don't usually take it far, but they will grab it. Um, 
but I don't see any of the ones that do around. If they're these weird looking sort of like Venus flytrap plants. Uh, somebody else asked me actually, one of our normal uh, video watchers, why some of the more recent videos have been shorter. I try to do a mix of lengths of time for people because not everybody has time to watch the long ones and we have probably over a hundred hours worth of content on our channel so if you really like long videos we we have plenty of them for you um, if you don't like long videos we have videos for you too so that way I kind of try to cover both for people so they get a mix of things um, got these things I do like killing these things because they give you some decent stuff usually, at least meat. If nothing else, but sometimes they give you other things. See, we got meat there, we got some ore. I don't have a smelter yet. There's a slug out there that does not yet see me, so we're going to just worry about getting this workbench up because that unlocks a lot of good recipes for us. Uh, I was actually told the workbench is one of the first things I should be doing. Well, that's that's a slug. I heard it. That's how you know when they're around. Because you can hear them and make noises. Which is not a really apt description, but that's a, it's a true description. So, if we can get away with it, we're going to do a quick slug check. Whereas you don't think they'll stay in a day. And then... Let us make the workbench. So we're going to build our workbench now. You'll see my hunger is not as good as it should be, so food is a necessity, and I need to worry about that. Um, now one thing I like is that rotating in this game, I like the way they did it. It's a little easier to me. Um, for now, I suppose I'm actually just going to put this on the back wall right next to the fire. It's right there. New crafting recipes unlocked. And that's the way that works. And then from there, you will see if I hit crafting recipes, I can make a chest to hold stuff, alchemy table, electronics bench, which is what we need for wiring and all that fancy stuff. A flagpole, which is pretty good, but that's only if I keep getting lost. A wooden mask, which is very good, but that's armor. Um, do I have enough leather? Can I make it right now? I cannot make it yet. But I should certainly see about making that. The only problem is the workbenches need to be right there. Um, now that it is daytime, let us actually do some other things. We're going to try to fish and see how fishing goes. And you can hit tab and just do that. Fishing in this game is, I like this more than other games. As you'll see here, this red dot, when the fish gets close, you click it, when it turns green, and you will reel in something. And that, to me, is the easiest way to do fishing I've seen in any game. Um, Staxel has an alright one. They have one that relies on number pressing, but I've heard, well, you know, I don't mind it. Some people complain about it. I don't complain about it. I don't mind it, personally. See this thing here, this is, these are the things that steal your stuff. And you'll see it actually jump in there trying to steal my stuff right now. Trying to take the damn workbench it works so hard to get. So after hitting it, he's going to run. I will chase him into the water. And he will just sit there like a dumbass. Um, and then it'll go back and forth like that until I kill him. So right now, where in the hell did he go? No, he literally took off all the hell with my workbench. I work hard on that, buddy. Give me that. So now I gotta get into construction mode. Move this back. I'm just gonna put it here since it's just gonna come here anyway for it. Um, I do hope in an update they make it so these things are slightly easier to kill and they run less because he's a real pain in the ass. Or maybe even like a missile weapon. Some ranged weapon that would be funny. I feel like it has to fit the game. So maybe like tomatoes you can throw at an enemy. 
something Looney Tunes like, you know? I did learn the hard way not to trust that water. But there are creepy things in it that are, that are not so pleasant. Alright, so I need to let him get on dry land, so I might as well kill two birds with one stone and get myself some more rock for now. And deal with that. Never have too many resources in this game. I did not yet get to the food that I wanted. And now this dumbass is still trying to kind of climb up here and mess with me, so we are going to try and mess with him back. There's more wood, so we're trying to get more wood as well for that mask. But you can see my hunger meter is horrible right now. Um, so yes, I know, little guy. So I need one of two things. I either need an apple, or I need... Well, I need anything. So let's try for fish again, shall we? Um... Doo -doo 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 so we're trying this. I'm thinking of putting a hole in this mask somewhere near the mouth or making it so I can actually like put a straw in here just so I can drink my coffee while I do these let's plays. I probably could just drink the coffee now, but then I would have to wash this thing immediately and it would be very messy. Um so I don't want to do that. Yes, we got a bug fish, so we can go and cook now. And at least get some food in our tum tum, so let's go do that immediately. And the way cooking food works is the same way as crafting. You just hit Q. We'll see there, I hit E. Um, and then I can you just eat. So there's some fish sticks. You can see there's a slug out there. The slug doesn't seem to see me yet, so I'm going to try to get away with cooking the slab of meat that we got from what I've nicknamed them Goofy Vines. I'm sure that's not their name, but uh, I think they're funny. So, alright, let's get out of the inventory and let's go and deal with this damn thing that's clearly... Oh, okay, here thought he was on my house. I don't know where he went. Maybe hit the water. Um, oh god, where did he go? He is close. That was very loud. Where are you? Is he on my house? No. It's like a ninja, this one. Well, I don't see him. How much wood do I have? I don't know how much wood a woodchuck can chuck, but I don't know how much ass I can kick, and that's a lot in this game. Your little guy is actually surprisingly resilient, um, and combat's pretty fluid in this. Lock on, I feel like, uh, could use a little smoothing. I feel like lock on could lock on just a little more, but in a game like this, if that's really my worst nitpick, then that's still saying a lot about how good the game is. And it is very good. Um, this guy's put a lot of love into this world, and he's put a lot of time and effort into this game, and you can see it. And uh, I think it's a very fun game. It's, it's definitely not like anything else I've ever played. And I know he's got other updates planned. I know uh, the Discord's super friendly too, so if you're not in there, join the Discord. Go in the Discord, see what's going on with that. Um, they're super friendly. I got answers to things I needed help with, like, in seconds. Um, but even if it takes minutes, believe me, I've been in Discords from a few other games I've let's played. Um, and they've been dicks, but this one is consistently nice in their Discord, so... Probably one of the friendliest Discords I've ever seen is for Wrong World. So make sure you go in there and say hi to everybody. Because uh, even if you have, like, questions for the game and you don't own the game yet, they'll still talk to you and answer your questions. And you just, you really don't get that with a lot of these. Like I said, I've had some real... Oh, I'd be dying to tell you. 
which ones to avoid, but I don't want to be gossipy and unprofessional, so I'll just say you go through enough of my videos and you check enough of the forums of videos of mine and you'll probably put two and two together on your own. Um, some of you have probably heard the crazy news, by the way, not to take away from this game, that one game that I have done a Let's Play of is actually done. Thanks to a lawsuit for Friday the 13th, that game is actually kind of just done. It's, it's, there's nothing, they're afraid to touch it because of a lawsuit from Victor Miller, who is Sean Cunningham's second screenwriter, and he's claiming he created Jason, not Cunningham, and... So that one is, uh, as far as the developers go, the official word is that that is no longer going to have new content added and it's done. So, you and me both know as gamers, that usually is a death knell for a multiplayer game. Now, single player, I'm sure it'll still do alright. Probably not great, but it'll, it'll, it'll live. But it won't live on any other one. Uh, I got a little lag there for a minute. I don't know why that happened. I'm hoping we just don't get a... Okay. Oh, just a little more lag. It's never happened in this game before. It's probably a Windows thing, more than likely. Sometimes when my Windows likes to be a jerk. I do also run a virus scanner, so I'm going to blame that, because I've heard virus scanners and Let's Players and streaming or recording games do not get along, but nowadays if you do not have a virus scanner, you are playing with fire. And uh, I don't recommend anybody doesn't have a virus scanner. I don't care what one you, you pick. I personally like a vast. I uh, didn't for years. I went to other ones, but I uh, went back to a vast, so that's what I'm, I'm on now. I have stayed with. But, uh, just, you know, be smart enough out there to make sure you're, you're using at least one of them, guys, because don't think for a minute these people will not mess with you if you get the chance. Um, you know, I've had free, like, freeware things I've downloaded that have had viruses in them, so... Don't be that dumb. Do not just assume. I grabbed ice. Cold as ice. Now, do I have three mushrooms? I have two. Um, but we do have enough to eat an apple right now. And we do have enough to plant some seeds if I want. Here is what we are going to do though. We're actually going to use some of this. First, we're going to make our wooden mask and wear that. We have some armor. Let me show you how that works, guys. Um, you've probably seen it, actually. I think I had armor on, like, on, on one of my things. Maybe I did not. I think maybe it was a, a off-screen single-player mode I did. And then uh, somebody asked me, look, are you ever going to do a series? And I thought I probably should do a series. So here we are, doing a series. So there is a stone axe. If I can, I'm also going to do a stone pickaxe. I don't have enough resources, so we're going to kill him with the stone axe. This is a slug. They come out at night. Um, and don't forget, attacking and hitting space allows you to do this cool rolling move. So if they start to spit at you or do something back, that's all you got to do. Grab some stone. There's some adhesive stuff that you can use for things. I think it's just got like sticky goop. But uh, it's pretty obvious that it's supposed to be like glue or adhesive. Um, Jesus, what do I do now here? I need more wood, obviously, to make things. A lot of resource getting in this game. Um, although, like I've said, the grinding doesn't really feel like grinding, so I don't really mind it as much. It's not, it's not bad. I'll say that. Um, and the reason you want tools in the first place is because anything you try to get when you get tools you get a bigger yield of it period 
So, even like a wooden axe, you see how much quicker that was to do. But generally, like, you're getting an extra log or two, and you're like, oh, wow, an extra log. But those build up, those add up pretty quick. Um, ditto with the stone pickaxe that we're going to make in a minute here. You can also, in this game, just drag stuff from your inventory and toss it right on the ground and not worry about losing it. Which is wonderful, because you can't do that with every game. Some games will just nix it, but it's it's pretty safe here. Um, and the way this is going to work in this series, guys, is I'm actually going to try to do this on normal as long as I can and see how long I can survive. We'll see. But let's keep surviving. We'll keep surviving and unlock the mysteries of this island. And maybe eventually he'll go back home. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I found to me that a 6x6 house was big enough to do everything I needed to do. So that is what I started him with. There's a little food piggy right there. I call them food piggies. I don't know what they actually are. Now, why am I not planting trees, you wonder? Because I'm lazy. That's the only reason. Um, so we will do this. We will get this one uploaded to you today. We have a few others coming out soon. I don't really know in what order I'm doing them, so I don't want to say what those are, nor do I want to... I don't really like talking much about other games if I'm doing a Let's Play, because I feel like it takes away from the game. Even telling you the news about that one other game I mentioned, uh, I was more than I would normally do, but it's kind of big news. I feel like it's a justifiable collapse, because it's it's definitely, in my eyes, it's big news. That's like, you know, they had Kickstarters, I was one of them, and now they can't deliver the, the promised product. So that's, you know, you're going to piss fans off anytime you do that. Um, and in this case, I feel like that's kind of justifiable. Um, but again, I don't know all the reasons. I don't know everything that happened with it or with the whys and the... So I can't really say, you know. I can't really say whether or not it's a good or bad idea for them to do that. If it's dumb or not. I, I could speculate and insult them all day. But really, at the end of the day, I don't know. I don't know their reasoning. I don't know why they would or would not do this stuff. So that's just kind of up to them. No one else can really say for sure. That's their thing, so. Um, now, you do have to be near the crafting area to do the craftings. So now we have a stone pickaxe and a stone axe. You'll notice on my inventory there, there are slots, so I can quick slot these things, which is what I want to do. Um, I'm going to do a little cooking right now. So my guy is hungry. Let's light the campfire and at least see if we can get away with like I already hear the damn. Already hear him. I do have more than enough to still live right now. Inventory full. What is my inventory full with? A bunch of bullshit. That's what it's full with. Uh, well, for now, I suppose I will have to decide what goes. I'll put the seeds here on the floor. No. Alright. Grab the cooked meat. And then we will, at the same time, make a second cooked meat, and then I'll wait. Um, Mutant Dog is up here. As well today. Although I've told you all before, his real name is Little Boy, so he's just chilling out up here. And how much wood do I have left? I don't have enough to make a space, but I would like one more space there. I have coal. I have enough room for coal, so we're going to do that. Um, things I am trying to get for my guy right now. The modular house, I'd like four out of the six parts built. And maybe a door, and then I can just close that up for now. 
No more about the rest of this. I don't know what the hell this has now behind me, but that sounded crazy as shit. Alright, a shovel. We got a shovel. And the reason a shovel is important is obvious. Should be anyway. Is now we can plant those seeds. So it's told, do not neglect planting. Um, and this came straight from the developer, these hints. So I'm going to go ahead and trust them. So we're going to hit this, get a little arrow. Yeah. We dig there. And now I'm kicking his ass with. Now just my bare hands. But it was like my. There we go. Again, the seed monster. Not really a problem. He does a little damage, but he doesn't do much. He drops leather, so he's useful. Um, and anyways, when you dig there, you can bury something. So we're going to bury the seed. Now we're going to dig another one right next to it. We're going to hit five. Bury there. Bury something. Bury the seed. So those two seeds are buried. I have heard, actually, you can make a leather tree. So we're going to actually do that. So I'm curious as to what the hell happens. I don't really know what happens when you get a, a tree there. And I am going to grab... Glass, because for greenhouse we're going to need it, and glass for now is sand, so let's grab these little sand castles that got dropped, and we will uh, we'll use these down the road, and I'm just going to toss them right inside. We're going to go chop down and get our fourth piece of something. So here, for now, is going to be our inventory dump. I'm going to drop these here, the ores for the smelter that I have, and then go and do other shit. And my voice just cracked like I hit puberty. That's impressive. Not at all embarrassing. Good lord. It sounded, it sounded like I was like a teenager. Um, one of the first YouTubers that I actually used to watch. He had a funny voice, and he used to make fun of his voice all the time. Now, these I can launch myself out of to go farther, but I'm not yet, because I don't want to leave this area yet. I feel like this area is really rich in resources, and I'm not using them to the best of their ability yet. So I want to make sure that I at least do that stuff. Um, so yeah. The one thing you notice there is now that we actually have this little wall there, I can actually move this over and you just basically hold it and drag it and let go. We can move that over some, which is nice. And then go ahead and move this over a little more. Just wish you could I'd like it if you could snap this to kind of like a grid and pinpoint that a little more, but it is what it is. Uh, so I just need a few more pieces of wood and I can build a fourth platform, but I gotta watch my hunger, man. I am really bad with dying because I do not pay better attention to my hunger, so... Hunger first, building second, whether I like it or not. Um... We're actually going to go up there to try and whoop this Yeti. Again, words you don't think you'll find yourself saying in a sentence. And the reason is because Yetis usually give off meat. You don't want a bunch of them hitting you at once, but they're not too shabby for meat. And there is a... I call him a wood monster. I don't know what his real name is. Or just a woody, because it's a funny joke. And I feel like this game applauds humor, so I feel like it's it's appropriate. We're gonna get a kung fu stick. Go do some yeti hunting up here. There are two yeti. There we go. This <laughs> one. He has a goofy ass, vaguely eyed face, and I like it. Oh shit! That is a demon pig, and that is not good. I've heard of those. They are really crazy and bad. So let's... Okay, we're gonna leave that Yeti alone. I am not messing with him twice. Let's get away from that Demon Pig. I'd rather face two normal Yetis than a Demon Pig. I've heard they are like 
crazy, crazy tough. I know, I just got my ass handed me something fierce. Now, if you're full, you will regenerate health. There is also an alchemy station and other stuff like that that help you with these sorts of things. Um, I'm not far enough away where I can't see my house. So he's like, hey, what'd you do to my buddy? So now he's going to try and fight me. Um, we are going to try to get him. I'm hoping for some meat. If I don't get meat, an oopsie. But at least I will have some leather. Leather is used for a lot of shit. And of course, now an effing slug monster appears because he's an asshole. And the demon pig guy. This may be the end for me. This may be the end. But if it is, it's not the end of the let's play. It just means I'm hoping I've unlocked everything I need to start easy mode. Easy mode is where you don't die. Or rather, you, you die, but you don't lose all your stuff. Rather, so... This demon thing's gotta go, man. He is... no. It's... God, look at this shit. I can't even get nothing. This pig is crazy! This pig is crazy. There is no way I'm surviving this if I do not move. I'm gonna have to just eat a little crow and get the hell out of here. That pig is crazy. Oh shit, there are two demon pigs. I am likely just dead, so we're gonna just accept the death. We will fight him to the best of our ability and accept the death when it hits us. And uh, in either case, our next let's play will be a. Oh, now see, now that knocked it out of him and now he's normal. On the plus side, I got enough. It's a lot, jerk. They waste four fights. And all I got were two friggin' leather from him. I wonder where the other demon pig is. Because I severely need food. Like now. Just even to heal, I need food. So we're gonna go and not worry about much else except for getting my ass back there, building that fourth thing, and then fishing, fishing, fishing. Until dark. So that's what we're gonna do. The problem is, uh, the one feature I really wish this game had is a map, and it does not. Oh, uh, there is, there is one of my favorite sites ever, and that is a mushroom. If I can get back home, even, that mushroom will be enough to replenish a massive portion of her health. The problem is now I do not see my house. It is around. I just need to see where that demon pig headbutted me to. Because he knocked me all over this map. And we will see him. From there, I will deal with that. Um, yeah, our schedule's been a little slower with Let's Plays here and there. You'll notice the one day I really doubled up on Let's Plays and did a few on a day when I was only supposed to do one. Uh, we don't really have a set schedule. We do them as much as we can do them. And some days it works out great. Some days it does not. And I just... I mean, guys, I do what I can with it. Um, we've had a lot going on in real life right now, so we've been busy dealing with real life, and the old saying goes, real life comes first. So, we'll get around to doing more regular Let's Plays when we have the time to do more regular Let's Plays. Um, although most of you have been really cool about that and understand that. And if you don't, then I don't, it's just, you know, I guess tough titties, I don't know what to tell you. Um, and thank you to those of you who have been sharing our channel with your friends. Please continue to do so, because as we grow, we gain influence and the ability to do better Let's Plays for you guys with newer games that you guys want to see. We are not a cash cow, so a lot of our Let's Plays are as we can afford them, so if there are ones you want to see, I we can't always do them all if we can't afford them. Um, so that is just something to be aware of. There are some that I would love to do that I have not been able to do for that reason. Um, you know, I don't have... As I've said before to people, I don't have Markiplier money, and that's no slant on Markiplier. He earned his money. He certainly deserves all his credit. 
uh, I just don't have that luxury of having that kind of budget. You know, he has a VR headset, he was gifted, he has a few other things that... I don't know if he was gifted or if he bought it, but we'll say this. Our budget for our channel is quite literally zero. We do what we can out of pocket for you guys. So when you ask me why don't you guys cover this game, it's a matter of bills first, real life first, and then let's play stuff. Because we are literally not making anything back from my channel right now. Um, we hit enough viewers eventually, yes. And that is, of course, the dream, to try and make this something that we can do full-time. Be lovely, but it's just not as practical as I would like it to be right now. Um, but who knows? Down the road, maybe. Like I said, it's, it's just not... Right now, it's not a feasible thing, guys. Doesn't mean it never will be, but that again all depends on the viewers. The viewership, how much we appeal to people or don't. Um, if we don't, then we don't, and there's not much I can do about that. And this is a weird thing. A phone box, I don't know what to do with it. I've seen it around, and I'm clearly still not seeing it my home, so I'm going the wrong way. I do like this guy. Reminds me of Van Gogh. I think that is awesome. Um, the other question that we're asked all the time is why don't we do huge titles like Skyrim and all this. Uh, for one thing, my Skyrim is modded too heavily, and there's no way it would not be a restricted, because I prefer to make the women in Skyrim curvy and not stick figure twigs. Because real Viking women in lore were strong women who were wide in the hips and not stick figures. So therefore, my Skyrim would certainly fall under age-restricted guidelines. And so far, we have had to be very careful not to have videos in that. It's not because we're afraid to, and we've had this debate, and you've heard me say it before in videos, we thought of doing it in videos, we're still on the fence, we don't know. Um, it would give us more freedom, but we would probably do a separate playlist just for those that would not hit our normal Let's Plays. So that way it would not affect people who just want to watch a whole series of Let's Plays. Uh, and that's kind of the way that would probably go, is just try and cover each one as it comes. I'm trying to get that back home here. I should not have wandered out as much as I did. But at this rate, I need to get back to my house. And, uh, get a... get these mushrooms cooked. The mushrooms themselves boost your health a ton. So we want them cooked. Um, if I die and I at least unlock the last of five items, then I will be satisfied with that, and we will start our run on easy mode, where the game does not delete when you die, and you just start over right before where you died on easy mode, and that's what most people recommended I do anyway, so... I actually had somebody tell me I was pretty brave to be doing Let's Plays on uh, normal mode, as long as I've done them. Um, but, I mean, I grew up in the era of Nintendo hard games, which were called Nintendo hard because they were a pain in the ass, so... We'll see. We'll see. Um... But so far, this has been a pleasantly surprising game. It has had a lot of humor, a lot of fun. I see my house now. Oh yes, we could make it, guys. We could possibly make it. There have been a lot of neat things when it's come to this game that I've enjoyed. The humor is first, I have to say. Um, I can't even deny the humor in this is awesome. It has been hilarious. I just rained my like nine trees. Let's try one more tree. Watch how die. Um, I'll finally get back to the house and then die. No, I won't. I found a potato. 
So eat the potato, go back home, cook up the mushroom stew, and that should be enough to sustain my little man's hunger for now. Um, I do like that he didn't name him, because I feel like that... Oh, that's an acorn, damn it. Alright, well, we can still deal with this if we get back in time. So let's get back in time and come, shall we? I need to start focusing on fishing more. No more dicking around with that. And all the ores are still there. So thing one, light a campfire. Thing two, right away, is going to be cooking mushroom soup. And you see my hunger meter. Watch how much this fills up the hunger meter. It is a lot. And boom, over 50%. So that, it's worth it to do that, is what I'm saying there. And lastly, if I have it, we're going to try and build the fourth, and I do, the fourth house tile here. And this does two things. For one thing, it lets me start to kind of figure out the way I want the house direction to go. Like here, for example, this is going to be a corner. So I really want it to be like that. This one is going to be a single wall. So from there, you can just keep rotating the rope. The wall there. And this one will go back, back, or I'm going to go left, left. I will probably go left, left. So what I'm going to do instead there, put a ceiling on it, shall we? is uh this is another one then that I will turn into a corner instead of what it was. I don't know what the hell I just did there so we'll see. Did I corner myself in? Did I do this right? I did not do this right. Did I do this right? I did not do this right. Look at that. The corner is on the opposite side so all right um So this player, oh god, so this player on this, and I have two slug monsters now trying to attack me. Um, if you do not have a lot of food or a lot of health, you can try to fight them, but you will likely die, as I will likely die, like there. But we could have, we put up a good fight, guys, and you know what, screw it. We're just going to go and start our easy mode. So we will start this in part three on easy mode. We will not have unlocked the last thing. And I'll probably unlock the last thing offline. So we're gonna start easy mode and quick start and do a bit of this and at least get to one. We're gonna try to get our Kung Fu stick made, a few things done. I'll save it, and that will be this Let's Play, so then 3 on up will be in easy mode. And that's just how it is. I'll probably do uh, another game that I play offline and tool away with until we can unlock the last thing. That way you guys don't have to see the constant failure that is in my playing of this. Um, why did I pick this game to do in the first place? Because I think this one's an interesting one to watch personally. Um, it's silly, it's fun, and I think there's a lot to it you can do. We are on a ground called Nuclear Ground that has these weird cat creatures, so I'm not going to stay on this ground. I like to build, if you notice, near water, because if I could get my shit straight, then fishing would be what I do more of. So that is what I try to do, and that's what I should be doing. Um, there's water over there. There's also a bunch of other nonsense, so what I'm going to try to do is go more toward here. Actually, not even there. We're going to nomad a little bit and roam and see where we get to throughout the day. That is something completely different, too. That looks like some sort of weird... Is that a creature out there? I think that's a weird creature out there. And there's a barrel that I can break. So we're going to break that and get some free loot. There's a fruit machine in there. Some old loot. 
some more rock. Two mushrooms are ready for mushroom stew, so we're doing good. <laughs> and there's this cupo. I actually wouldn't mind building my home near the needle mattock. A uh, vending machine here. There are different vending machines in this game, and I think that's funny. There's some that do potions, or some that do... Uh, this one does meat, so that would be very useful to live right near. Um, and this looks... oh shit. He ain't playing around. Is he friendly? Are you friendly? Are you not friendly? Are you? Oh no, you're not friendly. Can I kill you though? I cannot kill him. No, I cannot kill him. Nothing I do can kill him. Okay. Well, so, so much for moving right there. As much as I would love to have gotten a free greenhouse out of the deal, I don't think that's going to happen. I might, however, try to move here in this area anyway, because I think I have a plan on how to deal with Mr. Giant Cyclops creature. We'll see. Um, he's got to have a way to be killed. If he doesn't, then I'm just making a very poor life decision here. We'll see. I'll look it up and see how the hell I kill him. Because if I can kill him and we have a free greenhouse right there, then that's good. And right there is free meat. That we're going to grab and turn both the meats there into bait. So fishing stuff is in our future. And we have a few things to make. We have one single thing per house. Um, again, everybody's telling me don't set your house up first. But... Uh, look. I need, I at least need to put something down so that I can put the stuff I need on it. And the first thing you need to put together, really, is your, your fire pit for the cookings. So, hey, grab mushroom. So, we're going to try and see how much wood I have left. I have enough. Oh, boot, right. Boot turns the leather. I need the flapple. We need that piece of meat. Now we're going to turn the bait into the this thing here. Uh, we're going to make a fishing rod immediately. As I was told, that was definitely a necessity, and I think it is a necessity. I think that is one thing they did not BS me about in this game. And we're going to try and make a, a campfire, at least for now, to cook. So that way, when I need mushroom stew, right off the bat, I will have mushroom stew made. Mushroom stew. Because I may not always have that kind of luck right off the bat, so I'd rather use that while I can. How much wood do I have left? I have 11. So I actually have enough to put a second piece down, and where I normally wouldn't, uh, we're also not gonna. <laughs> we're gonna get 20 and set up the workbench, and then from there I'll worry about tools and all that other crap. I'm not gonna worry about that yet. Oh, you guys probably see the dog. He is stretching right now. He has been a very lazy boy today. Alright, so this is where I will end our Let's Play, guys. We are uh, going to wall ourselves in completely, which is a little trick. You can, oh, I guess, no we're not. We don't need to, right? Alright. We were going to wall ourselves in completely. We will start here during the day. That way we can start fresh bright eyed and the tail of the bushy and get stuff going. Um, thanks for watching. I am Bones. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like our videos and thank you guys very much. You guys have a good day.